Greetings to you. I am Elijah Muhammad, the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality to my people here in North America, the lost and found, people of that great and aboriginal people of the earth, the black man, has been lost now for 400 or more years and has been found today by the almighty God who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad to whom praises is due forever the Lord of the worlds the most merciful a savior that was predicted long before ever that North America were known as the United States of North America. This man was predicted to come to save the lost and found people of their own kind, the black people of the earth. From the destruction of the world of evil, they are by rights and are justified by right to be separated from this people who has made merchandise out of them and unite them again onto their own kind. They can't be united onto their own kind until they first accept their own kind and number one, have the knowledge of self and their kind. This is the only way that they can be united on to their own kind. Now the judgment, the year of the visitation of God Almighty upon America. They are here and is just as blind, deaf and dumb today, most of them to the knowledge that this is the year prophesied and predicted that God would visit this country and this people with judgments of many kind until that she bear witness herself that Allah is God who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad to whom praises is due forever and besides him there is no God. And that Elijah, Muhammad, is his servant and his apostle. This you will do, whether you like it or not. Allah have the power to force you to do it. It is written that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is God and besides him there is no God. And there is no savior for the so-called American Negro until he bows in submission to the will of Almighty God who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. The visitation of North America, the judgment of North America, the number one enemy God have on his list to destroy, I said to you, whether you believe it or not, this is it. Surely they hate the truth that does not benefit them. Surely they hate for you whom they have <laughs> robbed of the knowledge of yourself to know today that God is here visiting the country as it is written of him, seeking to save that which was lost. Not Israel, my friends. It almost makes me sick to see you so far off from the truth. Not Israel, but you, so-called Negroes, are the one the Bible is referring to. That is the lost sheep in the house of Israel in the nation of the Caucasian people, not in uh, the nation, 
not in the race of that people as a member of our blood and flesh of theirs, but a lost member of another people that has been captured and now being helped as a prey in the house of Israel, in the nation or race of the white race. They have captured you. They have bought you from your people 400 years ago for a price. This is why it is necessary for you to have a Savior to come and redeem you. Because you were sold for a price. But the truth will <laughs> redeem you as it is written. The truth alone will free you now. But you are hindered and you worship those who hinder you from the knowledge of the truth. You sacrifice to them. You are willing to listen to their un falsehood against the truth than to come to me the truth bearer and salvation that God has brought to you and me. Get it here as Isaiah teaches you. Go get truth without price of gold or silver. You don't need to buy no more truth. The truth is free. He again says in another place that the truth has been forsaken and is trotted on the foot. For 35 years I have preached to you the truth. 35 years I have warned you and warned you that this day was coming. The year, let us not try to concentrate on a certain day or the hour, but let us remember that we are living in the year. This is the year 1966 prophesied by the prophets that God would visit America with judgment. Not with the actual and literally fire this year unless the enemy provokes it. But visit this country with judgment as he visited Egypt with many judgments until he brought Pharaoh to his knees in the Red Sea. And at last when he was swallowing water, drowning, he opened his mouth and declared Allah was God. In these words, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And Allah remembered him for declaring and bearing witness that he was the greatest and not Pharaoh. And today his body is preser preserved in Egypt, there now, to show you the man who opposed God, show you the, his body, there in the museum, somewhere in Egypt. They are holding his body, they have found his body, and it is his body. Don't say that they don't know. If they don't know, who is it to know? There is no other to know. Today, we are in America, and God has found us, and he wants to save and deliver you from the judgment in which he has declared through the mouth of his prophets, and the judgment in which he has declared he would do upon this country to me directly to my face. It is... Uh, so true and is so uh, much verified by the prophets and their predictions of the judgment to come that I can speak it boldly for here you have the proof it is made manifest you don't have to question or argue with anyone today about the time that you are living in it's made manifest to you, my people. I taught you for 35 years what God taught me. 
in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises is due forever. But you rather listen to a lie and listen to the truth. But I say that they have arrived. The judgment is now, and not to come, but you in the judgment now. All the things that is written of the scriptures is now being fulfilled and has already been fulfilled. It is you, yet dead because you fear to accept the truth as the Bible teaches you in the Revelation. Those who worship the enemy, the devil, and his mark, they went down with him in a lake of fiery lie, not in some spook form, but a lie cast into the lake because they doubted the power of Almighty God Allah over the power of Satan. Therefore, having uh, uh, a doubt that God was able to defend them against the enemies attacking war against God and his people and even against them that now has tried to follow him. He warned them. He warned himself. He's gone insane in trying to destroy the people or the nations of the earth and keep his deceit, his falsehood, still in the minds and hearts of the people that it is the truth. Not so. Not so, Satan. You won't be able to put it over. Not so, Satan. God is the greatest. Allah is the greatest in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. He is the greatest. He is the mightiest. Let your knees bend and bow to him. Let your tongue confess that he is. For you won't be able to fight a battle and win against him. He has power over everything. He has power over the atmosphere of the earth. He has power over that which is out of the earth. Over the open space where there is no air. The airless space. He has power over that space. Wherever you may go. He has power to destroy you. If he wants to. You have not the power that he held over nature. He don't, you don't have it. I said to you, my people, that is listening to this day, teaching here, wherever you are, and in Chicago, wherever you are, pay attention to this summit today, as it is the truth, and fly for refuge for your life in the power and protection of Allah, to whom praises is due forever. There is no safe place for you but in the refuge of Allah in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. You have been taught. It has been told to you. You have it on the page that Elijah would be sent to you a man by that name in this day and time to lead you into the right path, to make again a contact and a friendly <laughs> uniting with your nation that you was robbed and spoiled from for these many years, 400. That such man would be risen up to join you again together, and that without such weight, you could not be able to see the hereafter or be justified that justice has been done to you. Think over these things, my friend. They're all written before you. He must first come. He must restore you. This is what is meant. He must restore you. Don't look for spooks, flying <laughs> angels without uh, flesh and blood coming telling you anything. The only flying angel is a message that flies without human body. The only angel is human beings. No such thing as what you have taken 
to yourself to end up as being angels. It is your mistake that you don't understand and will not come to understanding of the truth. Today is your own rejection. It is your own mistake. Not mine. I track the path. I do that which you have in the book. Search what I have been preaching. And you will find me having all fulfilled these things. I have brought you face to face with God and the devil. This you cannot deny. I have warned you for many years that you cannot see the hereafter without a name of God. Your book, the Bible teaches you that. For many years you have known it to be just that. And it is written here in the Bible. Everyone that is called by my name. 43rd of Isaiah and the 7th verse. For I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Very clear to you. Again, the fifth verse. Fear not. For I am with thee, meaning God himself. I will bring the seed from the east, meaning people, and gather thee, meaning people, from the west. Here in America, this is the west. I will set to the north, give up the northern part of America, and to the south part of America, keep not back. Bring my sons, my people from afar, and my daughters from the ends of the earth. This is a far way. This is a long ways from Africa and Asia. Either way you take it. Right in the center of the earth. Think over there. The Son of Man shall be in the heart of the earth. Three days and three nights, meaning three years. Remember that. This is the heart of the earth between us, Asia and Africa. Here it is. It's America. You should know the truth. And the truth Jesus said would free you. He prophesied it. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Think over there. Let all the nation be gathered together. Is this uh, uh, going to cause an upset of the nation? That they will gather together to oppose this return of you and me to our own. Yes, it's going on now. At this very hour today, they are trying to oppose the gathering of this people. You and your return to your own, they're trying to oppose it. This is the judgment day of America. The time when every one of us must begin turning to our own. This is written. And you know these things. And that day and time as it is written. And Jeremiah, every nation or every man shall go to his own. And every Man shall turn to his own. We must go to our own. We cannot do that which God does not want us to do. By no means. He can stop us. This day and time, he's working himself. This is the day of his visitation. Let's take a look at who shall be the judge in this day. Matthew, the 25th, and the 31st and 32 and 3 verses of the 26th chapter of Matthew, 25th chapter. 
It reads softly like this. When the Son of Man shall come, in all of <laughs> his glory, and all the holy angels with him. Don't get the idea that this is talking about some spiritual thing. Without form, these are people. The Son of Man, when he shall come in his glory, come in the time that he should rule, come in the time when he will be given praise and credit for his taking over the power to rule the righteous people of the earth away from an unrighteous rule. I want you to remember, I want you to understand, the Son of Man should move, remove the ideal of you looking for spirits, spooks, because it says here, he is the Son of Man. Jesus prophesied that the Son of Man will come. Not a spook. Not something that is other than man. There is no God nowhere other than man. Get that old slavery misunderstanding out of your mind. I can't say that the white man made you like this, but he have absolutely put it before your eyes to study in such a way that he know you would misunderstand it. And to preach misunderstandings to you himself. Excuse me. This makes a slave who has been made blind, deaf, and dumb spiritually by the master, unable to see unless master make him to see that which he have added out and added in. Let's take a look again. With the holy angels with him, with holy people with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Not say somewhere in space, as you, some of you believe, but like presidents and kings take their seat of authorities in the capital of their people. This one is so powerful that he don't have to sit down in no Satan city. Though he's in and out of all of them. But he don't have to sit down there to rule and get a uh, 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 cabinet of senators, uh, witness, uh, helpers. He already have everything within himself. He takes no one for uh, his uh, helper, but he messenger or prophet whom he has chosen, or apostle. These are the only two. He teach no one else the secret of his wisdom or power, but a messenger whom he has chosen, according to Bible both in Quran. The Quran is explicit on this subject, that he uses a messenger and reveals to that messenger what he wills or uh, whatever purpose or aims or secret he have to give, he give it to that servant whom he has chosen. Others draw from him. This is the best way of all. I want you to look at it. And before him shall be gathered all nations, having the power to force all nations to bow. He shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from, his, from the goats. The nations or races were separated in the beginning. 
But who has went among them and upset their peace is the white race. Who want to rule, who went after ruling them and breaking their ties of brotherly love and friendship. As far back as you have history of this people, they have been making mischief not only among themselves, but among every other people. And now they have learned that God has visited you and me to take you and I into the heaven of his salvation and to unite our hearts. What are he doing now? Trying as the book teaches you which is his actual charge to save you. He gets the truth and is <laughs> going after you like mad and me. Bringing, shooting down our self and our places of worship. He has no respect for religion. Only he just preached it to catch us with his kind of religion. Like a man fishing. He uses a bait that he thinks the fish will bite. Knowing the Negro because he made blind, deaf and dumb the Negro. Today he's angry as the Bible says. In the Revelation you will find it that when it come time for the chain of righteous to take over, when it come time for him to rule whose right it is, the nations was angry. And he also was angry. Thy wrath has come. For it was at the time of the dead that the dead should be judged according to justice and given rewards to those faithful prophets' work of righteousness. And that the dead, blind, deaf, and dumb spiritually, they are angry because that truth has come to them. They're going insane in anger. The book teach you that. It teach me that. And I know you read it. We all know. We all understand. But I say again, 66 is the judgment, the visitation of God in America. She must know her evil turns to her slave. She must be given a chastisement that never a nation receives it they've been on the earth for taking an innocent so-called Negro, beating him and killing him night and day for nothing, all the just, it is her nature to murder, created to murder. God wants you, my friend. God wants you to follow me. God wants you to unite with me. Fear not, for God is in person among us today. We suffer brutality and murder from this people. But I say today, 1966, will sing the bring the showdown. Worry not, but I say bow upon your knees and do the will of Almighty God Allah. The Holy Quran in the 45th chapter says, Before him, all the nations shall bow, headed the kneeling. You shall see all nations kneeling down. He will bring them to the record in which they kept themselves of what they did. This is your book. This is my book. The Holy One says there in the fourth field that speaks against you with justice. Get up. My friend, and fly to Allah, I will show you the way. 
Come on. Let's mutiny. We'll get no place but to hell by not uniting. I think you and me, God, open your eyes and ears and heart. I salam alaikum.